girls are outside in the garage. Okay, so I have our salads already put together. It's actually really good if you toast it. Tastes like toast. Oh, not here. And um, after that, we're gonna do something fun. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm over it. Professional drunk. Mm-hmm. This is some huge zucchini. Look at my hand and look at this zucchini. Hello, hello. I'm back. It is Wednesday. No, it's Monday. I don't even know what day it is. And Eden's over here watching Spider Man. Mercy's over here having a whole fit because she's tired. But I'm not letting her go to bed right now because she'll be up in like 30 minutes. I'm over here preparing some dinner for me and Blake. I got all of our veggies on, and then we're going to have some Alaskan salmon and you know us we're just gonna throw it on a salad so I'm trying to keep her up and looks like she's kind of interested in spider-man she didn't eat much of her dinner she had mac and cheese tomatoes grapes and some granola bar stuff so she didn't really eat much because she was falling asleep but now that she's up I wonder if she will eat more I don't know um, Blake is at the baseball field with Austin girls are outside in the garage girls are outside in the garage playing tennis and then they're gonna come back in in like four minutes and get showers and stuff like that but um, of course the oven's not preheated I'm gonna preheat the oven and go ahead and stick this stuff in here and then I'll probably just stick them like some nuggets and some fries or something on a sheet it's easy Monday nights are easy because we have so much going on with therapies and homeschool co-ops and um, baseball and stuff so it's an easy night like usually just cheap pan dinners on Monday nights that's it tomorrow they have homeschool PE our first time so I'm excited about that more therapies I mean Monday through Thursday are busy for us so if you ever have anything for us to do Monday through Thursday just to hang it up because we're not doing it on these veggies I'm just gonna put a little oil and salt pepper garlic a little bit of adobo that's it So I have our salads already put together and I just put all the veggies on some spring mix. We love them like this. A warm salad, if you never tried it, you gotta try it. The kids are just having nuggets and shrimp and y'all look, I know this is like, oh, you're giving, you eating all those veggies and that's what they're eating. That's what they wanted. I'm not fighting tonight. Usually y'all know they're right here with us eating stuff like this, but tonight they said they wanted that. So, hey, okay, cool. Um, I made some salmon over here. That around there is um, the G, and it always crystallizes like that because it's clarified butter. But I'm just going to put these on to the salads. All right, so here is mine. So good. I always put clarified butter on the bottom because it makes the skin crispy. Mm. All right, and here is Blake's. So yeah, that's gonna be our dinner. Some roasted veggie salmon salads. And the kids are having nuggets and shrimp and smiley fries. <laughs> I'll cut up some orange slices and cucumbers too. All right, got me a little breakfast here. Just a keto piece of toast um, with some avocado, tomato, onion, and everything but the bagel seasoning. Mm. The keto bread, you know, a lot of people don't like it. They're like, oh, it tastes like cardboard. It's really not bad if you toast it. It's actually really good if you toast it. It tastes like toast. One, two, three, four. We're watching my vlogs on TV. <laughs> All right, so let's go and see, check on the other kids. I don't know, that's Dylan's work. That's how she does work. She does it all over the house. It is what it is, as long as it gets done. One of the perks of being homeschooled, you can do your work wherever. You don't have to just sit at a desk. All right, let's see how the big kids are doing. How's it going, Austin? Good. Good job, bud. Good. All right, let's go check on Carter. Checking on you. How's it going? Good. I'm almost done. You're almost done? Wonderful. Hey, I'm almost done, too. Well, I like that you rearranged your room. All right, go ahead. Um, what? Can you check on some of my papers? Yes, give me some of the ones you've done already, and I will check them. These three pieces. All right, I'll check them and I'll bring them back to you. Good job, keep up the good work. I know it better not be YouTube. Ma'am. Oh, not here. 
You are here. And it better not be you too. Eden Lee Brooks. You are not sleep. <sighs> All right, we're headed to therapy for Dylan. I got the big kids with me today. And um, after that, we're gonna do something fun. It's gonna be our very first day of homeschool PE. So that's exciting. The kids have never been, and I signed them up at a local rec center we go to. And um, I'm really excited because they'll get to be around other homeschool kids, hopefully. Hopefully we're not the only ones there. But anyways, we're gonna go do that. We're only gonna have one subject today for school, actual school, and then as our elective, it'll be PE. So it'll be two classes. We usually do two classes a day. So are you guys excited about homeschool PE? Yeah. They're excited. I love them. Thank you. What are you gonna do with them? I don't know, put them in a pile somewhere like I always do every time I go to therapy. We gotta put your other earring back in. It's in my room before that closes. Okay. We'll do it when we get home. Austin, you all right? Austin got bit by ants. I know. Let me see your ankles. Ooh. Where did they bite? Show me. I see one. Wait, what? They're right there in the middle. You okay? It's on my foot, my toe. You okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, we are outside of therapy waiting for Dylan to get out. Um, I just looked on the news and the city over from us, all the schools are on lockdown. So uh, it's crazy. Hold on, let me clean my camera. It looks kind of dirty. Is that better? I'm focused. Anyways, all the schools are on lockdown. Like it's getting crazy out here. Like I don't understand some of these kids. Like what would cause you to want to threaten to unalive somebody or I, I'm, I'm just, I'm over it. There are so many reasons as to why we pulled our kids from school and why we decided to homeschool, but that's one of them. It, it's absolutely insane, the amount of violence that goes on in schools. And you're kind of wondering, like, I was talking to a my friend of mine, and I'm like, where do you think it comes from, you know? And, you know, her theory was video games. And, you know, I think it's, it's parents. I feel like it's what they watch. I feel like, you know, it's a lack of control, um, giving them constant access to everything they want without parental controls a lot of stuff but I also feel like just the school system and the school setting is set up in a way that is so similar to prison you know people go to prison because of whatever reason you know crimes and things like that but think about how much violence is in the prisons and how many people fight and how many because people are so constrained and they're so restricted and there's so many I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it's just so similar to that. And for that reason, young kids can't handle the emotions and all the restraints, you know, walking around the hallway, catching a bubble, not being able to talk. People always say, oh, the kids need to go to school for socialization. Let me tell you something. I was a teacher for many years. There's not much socialization going on. Like in the hallways, you're quiet. Lunchtime, you're quiet because you usually have, by the time I was done, done teaching we had like 15 to 20 minutes to eat so the teachers were really strict about don't talk because you need to hurry up and eat um i mean recess but that was only like 30 minutes if that we started doing this thing where we staggered playgrounds so sometimes we'd be on the playground sometimes we wouldn't it was just like a whole big old thing so believe it or not like it's really not that much not as much as you think socialization going on even if they're in PE and stuff like that they have to stop and listen to the teacher in the classroom they're not just back and forth talking they got to listen to the teacher like it's it's sit down sit in your desk stay there don't move don't talk in the hallway do as I say not as I do y'all can only have water in the class but I can sit here and eat my snacks and drink my coffee you do this wrong pull a card you do this wrong like it's just it's a lot I'm not saying kids don't need rules absolutely they do but I feel like the design is it's just very similar to that of the prison system. And that's just my opinion and I'm sticking to it. All right, we are back from therapy. Just got some um, kale and eggs and tomatoes. Let me put my top back on so I can let that egg cook. The big kids are outside right now having some trampoline time. Let's see what's going on because Carter's standing outside of the trampoline. So make sure she's okay. I like to check on my kids. Carter, you okay? Okay. 
they're having some trampoline time right before they go to homeschool PE. <laughs> She's a fighter. <laughs> they're just playing. I was just looking at my mirror like, why? Why did, ew, what would make, I gotta clean these. That's kids, this is kids for you. I don't even wanna know what that is to be honest. Blake just took Mercy upstairs to get her a nap. She's never, you guys know, she's never been like on a schedule schedule. So we're really trying to do that because night times with her has been, whoo, last night I don't think she went to bed like 1130 and like she was so overstimulated that it was just crazy. Let me turn off this TV in here. It's loud. I'm sure they're watching a good dinosaur. Yeah. Anyways. We still have all my computers rolling with my uh, YouTube going on. Look at this. Even old videos, Blake has all of them running. If you know anything about watch hours, you get it. If you don't, you don't, so. Good husband award goes to. Ginger. What's, What's wrong with Ginger? Ginger, I just want to Oh, you want to hold him? I know, he's starting to get so. Oh, he's just such a great cat. Hold on, Eden, it's Carter's turn. Eden, be patient, please. Thank you for listening. All right, and you see our egg is firming up. I just put some bacon in here, tomatoes, kale, and a little seasoning. I love, love, love this meal. Mm-mm, y'all. If you do not like kale, you just gotta learn how to cook it because I promise you it's good. Right before I eat anything, I take apple cider vinegar. I dilute mine because it's not really good for your teeth. So I just have maybe like, I don't know, maybe two or three tablespoons of water in there. One, two, shake it around and drink it. It's supposed to burn fat. And I usually put like honey and cayenne pepper and lemons and all that stuff in it. But today I'm just gonna do the apple cider vinegar. You can also get it in like, um pill form or gummy form, but I don't mind the taste. I actually like the taste. I used to drink red wine, and so I like pungent stuff. Anyways. What's up? Mm. You're getting what? Stash? Mm. Daddy said he's leaving at 12.30. So, you guys got about 10, 15 more minutes on trampoline, and then you need to fill up water bottles, okay? Yeah. I'm actually excited about their homeschool PE. Mm. My egg, let me show y'all. It's not like runny egg. It's like um, McDonald's egg McMuffin egg inside. I love it. Everybody in my family has a staff, a walking stick. And we do take them walking and on hikes. I'm gonna finish my lunch, have the rest of my coffee, and then chug 32 ounces of water because y'all know I don't drink any water today. What are you doing, little girl? <gasps> what are you doing? I feel like you were trying to put that behind the bookshelf. But you're gonna pretend like you were putting it back on the shelf? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. So we are outdoor dashing as a family. I don't know if you can hear me because I have the air on, but we're outdoor dashing as a family. Blake just went in with uh, Carter to this restaurant. It's a sushi spot. And right now is a really, really good time. We weren't even planning to come today. We usually go on like Thursday and Friday because that's like really busy on Saturday. But we had some extra time, so why not make some extra money? You hear Mercy in the back? We moved her from right here to all the way to the back. So it's weird to not like be able to have her right here. But Austin's on snack duty, right? Giving her all the snacks. Huh? And Carter and Dylan. They're all on snack duty for the little ones, helping them out. So it's exciting. Um, we're just probably going to dash for a little while. We already cooked. We had, oh, there's Blake. You can see him opening her door like a princess she is. I like it smelling. Shut your door, shut your feet. 
Blake already cooked, he grilled burgers and veggies. So when we get home, dinner's already done. Mercy's back there telling us no, 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 because we're wrong about everything according to her. Mm -hmm. 25 minutes, Jesus. 25 minutes. And Blake is making me nervous because he drives like. I drive CDL, commercial drivers. Like he thinks having a CDL means something. Professional driver. Mini grocery haul time. Blake just went to the store and got all of this because we do our grocery order different from our produce order. So he went to Aldi and to Harris Teeter and picked up a few things. Some spring mix here, cause you know we make a salad every day. Some espresso. Also some coffee from Peru. And these are the beans. I love beans. You guys know I grind them up every morning. I just love the smell. I love it different. Like I feel like it's more fresh when I grind them myself. We also got us some of these low carb bars that are keto. Zucchini, this is some huge zucchini. Look at my hand and look at this zucchini, huge. Also some blueberries, raspberries and blackberries. And you know, any kind of berries are keto friendly. We got some more bananas, some apples, two big cucumber, one beef stick. I guess you're supposed to eat this in the car. And he didn't eat that, but I'll leave that to the side for him. Some asparagus. Last time we got asparagus from Walmart, they smelled like complete fish. I don't know what happened if the guy that was delivering them spilled something on them, but they were horrible. We could not eat them. He also got some grapes, which we just bought some two days ago and they're gone already. Cause you know, five kids, they all love them. We got some red peppers. Cause I got a three pound uh, container of ground turkey in the freezer. So we're gonna make some stuffed peppers and stuff this week some more strawberries and I'm just not looking at these. Look at how big these strawberries are. Wow, and they look really, really good. It's almost the end of strawberry season, so I'm really surprised about that. We got some broccoli, some baby carrots, two things of jalapeno peppers, and I'm making something with these this week. I have a really good recipe for these. I think I made them once at the Airbnb. No, I did at the Airbnb, but um, I will make these for you guys this week because I have a recipe that is really good with jalapenos and they're not spicy. I got, now these are from Harris Teeter. He got me some bean sprouts and some shiitake mushrooms. Gonna make something with those. I don't even know yet, but I'm just excited about those. He got some cherry tomatoes, which is something that we eat a lot, a lot. And then we needed some more sponges. So he got some of those. And I saw that he got something else too. Oh, and some more Dawn Power Wash. That's it for our produce haul this week. And he said he paid $59 for all of this. Quem nada, ela me deixa, eu só ficar na vontade Manda foto, sinto gosto e apago Finjo que eu nunca tô na maldade Mas na minha mente só eu sei a verdade Sendo aquele que dá tranquilidade